Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am so excited for today's video because you guys know when I get super excited about videos, which I'm excited to film all the time, but it's usually because my girl Kathleen Lights did something. She's always doing something, but she created. I am so excited to try this bad boy out so excited i wore purple it's a very dark purple but nonetheless it's still a purple anyway yes i'm going to be creating a look today with this palette i am so excited to test it out i'm going to do some swatches and tell you guys the price everything about it so if you guys want to see me create a look with this palette and also tell you what i think about it then just go ahead and keep watching first of all this packaging is so incredibly beautiful. This is what the palette looks like. I am shooketh. I just love it. I just love it. Okay. Okay. I'm just really excited to play around with it. Um, I know what kind of look I'm going for today. I feel it in my bones that we're about to play with some deep olivey greens. And I know last year I did a like sparkly olive eye, but this year is going to be matte and green is just my color in the fall, like an olive green. It's so good, I love it. And that's what we're gonna be playing with today, but first let me swatch a few of these for you guys. I'm first gonna swatch the shade Diamond, and I'm gonna do swatches like she does them now, which are on her hand. So I'm gonna do Diamond, which is right here on the end. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that. It's beautiful. Let's do Peridot, Peridot. It's a lime green shimmer, oh. My goodness, you know what? Hold on, let me zoom you guys in for these because you're gonna need to really appreciate them. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. I wanna swatch this shade turquoise, which is like a deep teal blue. Oh my goodness. I initially thought I was gonna use this color, but I've seen a lot of tutorials with this color, so I didn't wanna I didn't want to, you know repeat what other people are doing so let's do ametrine i don't know if i'm pronouncing these correctly oh my gosh these mats are so soft i'm shook this is probably my favorite shade in the entire palette it's called smoky quartz and you'll see why in just a moment are you kidding me are you kidding me are you kidding me i'm gonna swatch the shade shade Jade. Whoa, that's a mouthful. This is one of the colors I'm gonna definitely be using today because it's it's stunning. And that's right up here. It's like a deep, like olivey brown. It's beautiful. All right, let's do a couple more. Let's do a couple more. Let's do one of the glitters. I know these aren't technically eye safe, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I'm not gonna lie, but we're just gonna swatch a Rooney one anyway. That's right over here which is such a cool shade. I'm trying to get out of the frame that I can focus on the swatches. It's right here. And then let's do one more. You know what I wanna do? I wanna do Onyx, which is like the sparkly black and it's so stunning. I'm so excited for that shade as well. So that's just a few of the many swatches. The first big, big, big palette from ColourPop. And of course it had to be Kathleen Light. She's the ColourPop queen. And I'm just so excited. I just love ColourPop because it's so affordable and the quality is just as good to me as most high-end brands. So it's kind of incredible that it's so inexpensive. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys in den because we're gonna be creating an eye look today. Um, if my eyes look weird, it's because I filmed before this and I did not take off my face makeup. I just wiped off my eye makeup and put a little bit more concealer on and kind of looks a little iffy I'm not gonna lie but we're just gonna keep it moving keep it rolling I'm gonna take first the shade my precious which is right here it's just a matte bone colored shade and I'm just gonna put this on my lid I think this is gonna be a little dark for me but I'm just gonna do it anyway I didn't even prime my lids am I okay I didn't even prime my lids hopefully that doesn't affect the shadows also because I filmed a look before this is still my mascara on but it's okay because I'm gonna put lashes on anyway. But so the first shade I'm gonna go into is Geo Dude, which is right here. It's like a mid-toned, kind of a mustard shade, 
but not quite yet. It's got a little bit of a yellow under it. I'm gonna go to the shade first and just buff this in my crease. I'm really excited about the shade, although it's very powdery, so. Ooh. Ooh, that's so beautiful. It's actually much darker than I thought it was. Now notice. And I'm just going to stamp this on my outer corner as well because we are going to be kind of doing a gradient eye. So I'm going to be taking this in about halfway. Okay, and then I'm going to be going into the shade Citrine, which is right here. It's actually not even picking up on camera how intensely yellow this is. And I'm very excited to put it on my eyes. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of a smaller blending brush. I actually just got this in my BoxyCharm for this month, which if you have not seen that video, I'll link it up below. Wait, link it up below. You know, you know what I mean. So I'm just going to really tap that off. And oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I would have done this one first if I had known that that other shade was going to get pretty dark as I blended it out, but I didn't know, so... We're just gonna add a little bit of this. I wanted it to be a little bit more yellow anyway, so this works out perfectly. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that a lot. So next I'm gonna take the shade Jade, which again is such a mouthful, but I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put this about halfway on to, about halfway in on my lid and bring it out onto my outer corner. I'm slightly blending that into the crease as I'm putting that on my lid. Just like that. And then I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the other eye. I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. I'll just wipe it off when we're done. I'm just really packing this onto the lid. And then before going into the next shade, I'm just gonna, without any extra product, blend out what we've got going on. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that same brush that we just used for Jade, and I'm gonna take the shade Stoned right here, which is more of a like concrete gray with a little bit of a green tint to it. So I'm gonna take this very lightly and take this on my very outer corners. And then I'm gonna take a very, very itty bitty baby brush. This is the Morphe M152. It's so small. And I'm gonna take that first shade, my precious. I've already dipped my brush into it, so I'm not gonna pick it up, but it's the white, the more like matte bone colored shade. And I'm just gonna stick that on this inner part. Whoa, that is so pigmented. I didn't realize how pigmented it was when I was. I'm gonna take it about right there, and I'm definitely gonna blend that out, but I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on the other eye as well. And then we will make sure it's all blended out. And then without adding any product, I'm just gonna blend over the two. And I'm gonna use the Jordana Easy Liner in Sea Green, which is a different kind of green, but I think it'll look really, really pretty with, with this green on my eyes. And so for my lower lash line, I'm first going to take the shade D Geodude right here and I'm going to blend that out on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go into the shade Jade, which is the olive green right here at the bottom. And I think that's where we're going to land on the lower lash line. And then for the inner corner, I think I wanna take the shade Peridot first, and then I wanna stick Pearl right on top of it, which is like this white shade, just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting because I feel like we need to spice it up a little bit, you know? And then I'm gonna take that small brush again and coat my brush with that shade Pearl, which is that light curl shade and pop that right over Peridot. Ooh, I think I love it. Before it's done, before I put on my lashes and my mascara and everything, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the shade My Precious and do one final blenderoo of all the shades to make sure they're looking good and snatched. 
Okay, so the eyes are looking really good. I'm excited to put the lashes on and just make it all come together. But while I am waiting for that lash glue to dry, I'm going to go on the ColourPop website and look up the price of this palette, which I believe it's 30 something but we'll see. So the palette retails for $39, as I said, but what's really cool about their website is you can do um, after pay payments. So rather than $39, you can do four payments of $9.75, which that's what I did. So super easy and just a lot better increments for me at least. The palette is currently sold out. So it's sold out twice now, but it's incredible. You definitely need it. And I definitely think that it's worth $39 worth $39 that's incredible and I think that this palette is so worth it it's probably one of my favorites that they've ever had probably with scattling lights but anyway anyway let me put on these lashes and I'll zoom you guys back out so I can put on a lip BRB okay so lashes are on bottom mascara is on I just used the L'Oreal Unlimited mascara now we're gonna go in with lips I have the dirty little secret lip liner in the shade pale pink and I'm just gonna outline my lips with that it's a little bit of a peachy nude okay so I just lined and filled in my lips with that lip liner now I'm gonna go in with the Catrice is it Catrice yeah Catrice ultimate color in the shade hey nude it's a really super nude and I'm just gonna lightly put this on because I'm gonna put a gloss on and then I'm just gonna blend it out with my fingers and then I'm gonna go in with the Milani is it the plumping gloss Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Natural Luster. This is such a beautiful gloss. I die. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked this tutorial of me using the So Jaded palette. I think it is so worth the money. This palette is so affordable compared to a lot of other palettes that are way more expensive and not as good quality as this in my personal opinion. So I think if you were going to, if you were thinking about picking this, palette up if I can open it. I think it's definitely a palette that you should pick up. It worked great. It was super buttery. All of the shadows are just incredible quality and I'm so, so excited that I have it and I'm able to play around with some shades. If you're wanting to see like two looks with one palette, let me know down below. But yeah, that is it for this video. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And once you have subscribed, please make sure to turn on the little bell notification and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.